Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, warm Christian greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus. In the series of the treasures in the Bible, we are going to examine the scriptures on the topic, the treasures. There are numerous hidden treasures of truth and God's divine plan from Genesis to Revelation. We are going to unfold the treasures related to the death of our Lord Jesus. And this lesson is going to be based on Philippians 2nd chapter 8 verse. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Jesus came to the earth in accord to God's plan. He humbled himself by being obedient until the death on the cross. It was Jesus' obedience until the death on the cross that brought forth the salvation to the world. There are many scriptures referring to the death on the cross. We are going to examine the three scriptures and unfold the hidden treasures in it. Treasure number one. Mark, 15th chapter, 25th verse. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. Jesus was crucified at the third hour. Treasure number two. Mark, 15th chapter, 34th verse. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani which is being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Jesus died at the ninth hour. Question number three, Mark 15th chapter, 38th verse. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. The veil was torn from the top to the to the bottom. The temple in Israel at that time had two main divisions, the holy place and the most holy place. The holy place and the most holy place were separated using a veil and we read that this veil was torn into two from top to bottom. We are going to see the treasures hidden in these three events. During Jesus' first advent, many Jews accepted Jesus as the Messiah. There were few Gentiles, like the Samaritan woman, who accepted Jesus as the Messiah. In John 4th chapter, 42nd verse, we see many Samaritans accepting Jesus as the Savior of the world. During the first advent of our Lord Jesus, he proclaimed salvation to two groups, the Jews and the Gentiles. Did you know that our Lord Jesus also proclaimed about this on his death? How? We're going to examine the scriptures on this. Now let's try to recall what we saw until now. Our Lord Jesus was crucified on the cross at the third hour and he died on the cross at the ninth hour. According to our time, third hour refers to 9 a.m. in the morning and the ninth hour refers to 3 p.m. in the evening. Now, let's read Acts 2nd chapter 15th verse. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. This incident took place after Jesus was resurrected and ascended to heaven. Fiftieth day from the resurrection of our Lord Jesus was the day of Pentecost. When Jews gathered together, the apostles preached to them boldly. Some of the Jews mocked at them, and Peter, knowing this, he responds to them boldly in Acts 2nd chapter 15th verse. 
for these are not drunken as a suppose seeing it is but the third hour of the day and he proclaims the message in 36th verse therefore let all the house of israel know assuredly that god hath made that same jesus whom a have crucified both lord and christ so jews received the salvation at the third hour as we see in this case jesus died on the cross at ninth hour and this refers to the salvation for the gentiles cornelius was praying at the ninth hour we read acts 10th chapter third verse he saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel of god coming into him and saying unto him cornelius now cornelius explains the vision to peter in acts 10th chapter 30th to 31st verse and cornelius said four days ago i was fasting until the hour and at the ninth hour i prayed in my house and behold a man stood before me in bright clothing and said cornelius thy prayer is heard when we continue to read from verse 34 to 48 we know that peter understands the gentiles receiving the salvation at the ninth hour so far we learned the importance of two different times given about the crucifixion and death of our lord jesus third hour jesus was crucified on the cross the jews received salvation at the third hour it was the ninth hour that jesus died on the cross the gentiles received salvation at this very hour the ninth hour we saw that the veil was torn from top to bottom this veil was the one that separated the holy place from the most holy place we are aware that god dwelt in the most holy place adam and his progeny the world of mankind lost their relationship with god when adam disobeyed and sinned veil being torn from top to bottom resembles the restoration that adam and his mankind shall be reconciled to god through the death of our lord jesus on the cross let's read hebrews 10th chapter 19th to 20th verse having therefore brethren boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of jesus by a new and living way which he hath consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh jesus opened a new way through his death on the cross the veil was torn from top to bottom it is humanly impossible for someone to tear the curtain because of its size and thickness it is clear that jesus's death on the cross to redeem the world of mankind was the divine plan of god for god so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son for us dear brothers and sisters let's summarize these three treasures jesus was crucified on the cross at the third hour the jews received the salvation at the third hour jesus died on the cross at the ninth hour the gentiles received salvation at the ninth hour the veil torn from top to bottom represents god's love for mankind and his plans for restoration dear brothers and sisters 
we have received a great privilege. We have received the salvation. Let us try to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice, pleasing and acceptable to God. Amen.